On a cold January day, this international cargo ship is docked in Boston Harbor. It's delivering a load of liquefied natural gas, LNG, for the New England grid. The extra fuel is needed to help make power for heating and cooling during periods of extreme weather. Well, we're putting a Band-Aid on the, on the problem. The problem, limited pipeline capacity, says Maine public advocate Bill Harwood. The pipelines to New England just can't carry enough natural gas for both home heating and electricity generation. About half of our electricity comes from burning natural gas. These big LNG liquefied natural gas ships come in from overseas into Everett, Massachusetts, and they inject the gas into the system in Everett to bypass the pipeline from Pennsylvania. Federal data show imports, like on this ship, can make up more than a third of the region's natural gas supply during periods of peak demand. It's really a New England issue. It's, uh, you know, all of New England is kind of at the end of those pipelines. LNG prices are at a premium right now due to the war in Ukraine and demand from Europe. It's one reason why your power bill is so much higher this winter. You've got too little supply, chasing too much demand, and what happens? The prices go through the roof. We're keeping an eye on, on the weather um, because the weather is the biggest uh, driver of electricity usage. As gas supplies tighten, ISO New England, which operates the grid, warns weather extremes could trigger the need for rolling blackouts. But ultimately, a, a controlled power outage is occurs when um, there's not enough electricity supply to meet consumer demand. There have been calls and proposals to expand pipeline capacity. The Interstate Natural Gas Association of America is calling on President Biden to address a lack of adequate natural gas infrastructure in New England. But opponents say that's bad for the environment and a barrier to a clean energy future. It is very difficult to when it comes to natural gas to expand pipeline capacity into the region. There are a number of uh, regional and local challenges to doing that. Um, so we will be uh, reliant on liquefied natural gas for some time. We got to get ourselves off of natural gas. This is crazy. I'm John Crisos, Maine's Total Coverage.